here five years ago uh, mm -hmm. and didn't get the opportunity. When you look back on it, is that a good thing? Do you think maybe you're more prepared now, or do you just feel like you missed a lot of time? Everything happened for a reason. Um, didn't have it, but I can't look, go back and, and um, I regret, regret what I've what been happy to me. Um, I believe that that was uh, God's will, and, and here, here I am. So this, we go from there. Can you compare yourself as a fighter now to then? Or have you improved since then? Have, what changes are, are you different since that time? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little more mature, and I'm a little more um, experienced. Um, I'm getting a little bit older, but um, you know, balance it up with my experience. You talk about getting a little bit older. Do you feel like it's important that you get these wins right now? I mean, do you feel like your time is limited, or do you feel like you still have a lot of time left? Of course, of course. Um, I don't get any younger, so um, I was always praying for you know to get you know uh, in, in the USC as soon as possible because I'm uh, 34 years old. Yeah. What do you think of, right now? The title picture. Obviously, Weidman had a great performance the other night. People are saying he belongs. People are saying if you win, it's you. What's your What's your idea of the title picture? Look, I'm focused on this fight. Saturday, night, I'm focused on the fight, and then after that, I'm gonna call up uh, my Munio so. No focus on the fight yet. Focus on my Munoz after. That's that's my goal. So is it really important for you to make a statement win though? I gotta make a statement no matter what. But after that, I gotta beat up my Munoz. Why is why is it Mark Munoz? Because he's been talking a lot of trash about me, right? And I know, I'm I'm one of those fighters that I don't, I don't like to talk about any fighter. I'm focusing myself. And um, when I see people they do it, they, they do the wrong things. You know, you know, I have to do something about it. So if you win this fight and Dana was to say, hey, we'll, we'll give you Anderson next, you say, no, 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 I want Mark Munoz first. 100%. So you, got you got it. What has he been saying about you? I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about him. Yeah. I just want to fight him. So you don't I, I want to fight him back. Do you, think that, you don't think that's a step backwards if you win, considering he just lost? I mean, uh, no matter to me. I just want to fight. And I know, and I know it won't be in a step backwards because I'm going to beat him up, but yeah. bad. So, so it's personal, though. Yeah. So, Hector, if we were to go looking for these comments, would we find them on Twitter? Is that, is that where he's Look, been I, I, know, I, know, I know the person that I, I follow Twitter, and I know that he's been doing all these interviews, especially with Ali Elwani, um, that he just like to uh, uh, put the fighters in the situation that they have to talk bad about all the fighters. But it's no time for me to talk about that. I just want to fight him. That's all. So you've had, obviously, a lot of fights. What are you anticipating in terms of any difference, if at all, uh, on Saturday night in your first fight for the UFC? Or is it just going to be business as usual? Business as usual. No. My, res my respect to uh, Tim Bosch. He put up. Didn't, didn't, uh, didn't walk away from the fight. My respect to him. And um, Saturday night, I will take care of the business. Dana White said in the past that you know some guys come into the UFC and they, they they've had fights outside, but the UFC is just different. It's it's the big show. Eh? Any comment on that? My respect to Dana White. Thanks to him, I'm I'm here. And like I say, Saturday night I need to perform, and I need to perform good. What are your thoughts on Tim Bolts as an opponent? I mean, a lot of people are. He's a strong him fighter. He's a strong fighter. Big guy, bigger than me. Uh, but no matter. Um, I don't gotta, I don't gonna go here and say like I'm better than this and that I'm better than that and that it's short time now. Saturday we prove who's best. Saturday night we prove who's best. And it's no point for me to say I'm, I'm I gotta do this to him I gotta do that to him. No, when I look when I look cross the, cross the cage I don't wanna shake hands I wanna fight. You understand? No shaking hands for me. We fighting. I'm taking care of this. Thing. Seems like you're very focused. You're always taking care of business. What do you do in your downtime? Um, I'm a cool guy. I'm just, you know, I like to uh, spend time with my fiance, with my friends. And, um, not much. Um, I'm a normal person. You know, I don't like to do crazy stuff. So, it's me. Do you have any uh, thoughts about Canada, just fighting Canada in general? You know, it's sold out really, really quickly. How good is it to, to be here fighting in an excited country to watch? Yeah, as soon as I got a call, um, I say I'm there. They, they call me up. They say, oh, you, 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 you want to, you know, uh, you open and, you know, pull up. Uh, you know, you're going to be in, you're interested in this car. I say, hey, yeah, right away.
Was it disappointing for you at all, not being able to headline a Fox card, even though you are a co main event on a pay-per-view, but Fox is obviously a huge Yeah, I, I'm not disappointed. I, I'm not that disappointed about that. I'm disappointed about... I, and I, do, I don't really understand that, you know, you injure and then two weeks after, you, 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 you the, the, the guy get a fight with somebody else. So you're referring to Brian Stan fighting this thing? Yeah, yeah. So I don't understand that. You know what I mean? If you injure, you injure. So, but no matter. So is that somebody you want to fight too? You feel like he was ducking you a little bit? Or? I mean, I had no, I had no personal issues with uh, Brian Stan. He's a respectful guy. Um, Every single time that I see him, you know, you know, we respect each other. Um, only good things I can say about him. But uh, it's, so, it's some guys up there that I really want to fight. My Munoz. <laughs> Anybody got a final question? Yeah, That's good. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.